Right, welcome back to another video. So today I've got this knackered old wheel rim to sort out. As you can see, the bolt holes are not very round anymore. And the customer can't find a new wheel rim that's the right diameter. So he wants me to repair this one. So I was going to make a pattern in the on the milling machine on the rotary table to mark where the new holes need to be. But we had this old wheel rim that we were scrapping and that has the same PCDs in the same hub centre as what this one has. The only thing is the bolt holes are bigger on this one so I'll, I'll cut this centre out, I can lay it into there, line it up with the centre of that and then I'll have to make a little bush to fit into the stud hole with a little hole in the middle that I can use the transfer punch so then I can transfer the new holes I'm going to drill onto here. First job, I'll have to ground these flat again and then fill these old holes up with weld. So I've cleaned the holes up, I've been round with a die grinder to clean all the rust and crap out the holes so there's no impurities when I weld the holes round. Now ideally you'd have a copper backstop to weld the holes up but I haven't got one so I'm just going to have to keep welding round until I get to the middle and then I'll have to turn it over and then fill it up at the other side as well and then grind it flat. So I'll do that now.
Right, so I've got all the holes filled in now. You can barely tell where the old holes were. I'll, I'll cut the centre out of this now, so I can use that as a template. So I'm just going to cut it out freehand. There's a bit of a ridge there I can follow. So I've got that cut out and cleaned up, just went round it with a belt sander just to clean the edges up. I can sit that in there now, iron them, get them lined up smack on, and then I'll probably tack this in and then mark through them holes. It's a shame I can't drill straight through them, but these, they have a 20, 24 mil hole where I need a 22 mil hole. So I've just made that fit fit snugly into the holes and I can use the transfer punch to centre mark where they all need to be. Oh, a nice big centre mark where each hole needs to be drilled now. So I can put this in the radial arm and drill them through 22mm. So I've got a sat on the radial arm now. I think I'm going to centre them first, just for this little centre, just so I've got more of a hole to follow. And then I'm just going to go straight through with a 22 
Right, so that's them all drilled and countersunk. I'm only going to countersunk this side. I'm not going to bother countersinking the other side because the wheel only ever goes on one way. I countersink on both sides from new, and then you can either, and then you can alter your, you know, your width. But this only goes on this way, so I'm only going to countersink this side. Right, so that's it done. They all match up nicely. So yeah, that was just a little repair job I thought I'd show you. I hope you found it interesting. So I have a couple of big jobs coming up shortly. I have a bucket to fabricate for a loading shovel. So that should make a good video. And I also have a bell housing box to make for a Fox and Major tractor puller. So that should also make an interesting video. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.